Hi everybody, it's Kelly, also known on Twitter as Kelly in 1977. And uh, this is my last official week of classes. Um, it is now uh, 4.51 in the morning. And today is Wednesday, May 14th. Uh, I'll be posting this right after I'm done recording. Uh, for some reason, when I record my phone, it looks like my teeth are extra yellow. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I'm still looking for an internship. And uh, I did an assignment yesterday to get credit for the week for my pre-class. Um, so, with the pre-class and the summer classes, which is 12 weeks long, ends up being 15 weeks, just like a regular semester. Um, last week I asked a, a question to so that gave me credit for being online and the week before that I just went through everything that she wanted us to read and she can see that in what she calls a shell to see if people are actually coming online or just not caring for three weeks because it's no credit but you still get attendance for it so um, and again financial aid and your student loan can look at that um, so, going through their rubric yesterday, the resume that she wants us to have is due week 9 in the cover letter the next week, but we have to send out a cover letter and resume for internships, so that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, I just have to look at mine real quick and wait for my glasses to come in. Um, last Wednesday I dropped them off, so hopefully they're in today. I'm going to call today in the afternoon uh, just to make sure because two years ago when I purchased them, um, they had for two days and didn't call me. They forgot. Um, so, yeah, that really pissed me off. And um, began migraines every day from not having them. Um, and I can't swallow pills, so chewing Tylenol or... Um, Motrin is not good for my stomach. I only took two yesterday. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been on an average of four times a day. Two in the morning, two, uh, closer to the evening, which is not good for my stomach. Um, so my last semester, as long as I pass these two classes, then I will be getting my diploma in September. Um, so, uh, since, like, Wednesday of last week, I've been sleeping weird. Um, a couple hours here, tossing and turning, everything's waking me up. Um, past two days, my IBS with my stomach has been bothering me really bad. Um, so, <laughs> hopefully that stops soon. Um, but... I did kind of have a busy week. Uh, was going six hours Wednesday. Friday went out with my mom, so was going a couple hours there. Um, Saturday went to a birthday party, went to see my family in law. Um, then Sunday went to the movies. So up and down stairs, up and down stairs um, bothers me. So it was pretty active. Um, so. My husband's just going to get some laundry done today, and then tomorrow officially is his last day. He gets four days off, uh, roughly. Uh, he starts back up the 21st. I start back up the 21st, uh, which is next Tuesday, so, yeah. Busy, busy. Um, we got to try to do camping this summer for the weekend. Uh, hopefully we can uh, achieve that goal. We wanted to do it last year, but I was not feeling up to it. Uh, it would be nice if we could. And, uh, yeah, not much more going on. I ended up breaking down and getting a 911 operator. It was 25% off Steam. Um, it came with a free DLC, three other paid DLCs, and they keep base game. And I paid 26 so not too bad. 
Um, I do have it for my cell phone, which I got on sale for like three bucks. But no DLCs, and it's really hard to play on your cell phone. Um, you can't tell, you know, they fire trucks and police officers where to go on your cell phone because once you hit them and you try to move the map, it misunderstands what you're doing. And, uh, it's really a pain in the butt. So, uh, on a computer, it's much easier with the mouse. And then I've been playing a, uh, Psychic Clue game. And I broke down and got the DLCs. Um, which was only $4. And I paid uh, $8 for the game, half off. Now you have about 10 cases. Five is to help you how to learn how to play the game. It starts off easy, gets harder. Um, I didn't actually understand how to play the game properly until I went online when I unlocked it. And then it made more sense. Um, after the 10 cases are done, there's nothing more for story mode, so you have to play online. Now you can play against the AL if you can't find anybody. Um, but you don't get points for that. And the whole point is to get points so you can unlock new cards. There's a total of 11 cards you can unlock. I have two. Um, there's not a lot of people who are playing this game. It's been out for a year. So I'm quite surprised. And then when I was reading the description, it said, Oh, and if you buy DLCs, you'll unlock new cases. That's not true. So that's false advertisement because they have no new cases. They The game's been out for a year and they have not added new cases. So I think that they should get in trouble for because you lied. I mean, it's a fun game, but you have to sit there and you have to wait for people to join your table so that you can play a game. Um, does make it very fun. And I'm quite surprised because it has 55, you know, highly positive reviews. And I see like maybe seven people on at a time. So I don't know if it depends what time it is because it was playing like six and people were like, oh, I gotta go to bed. I gotta get up for work. And I was like, uh, they're probably from the UK <laughs> or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I might jump on and see if there's anybody online. Um, but because I don't have my glasses this week, there's certain games I can't play. I need them to see close up and far away. So I'm like, I was planning on getting through Dying Light the following and finally being kind of done with that. You know, just do events when they show up. I wanted to play New Dawn and try to get through that a little bit because I haven't played in a while. Um, um, I got two Assassin's Creed games I want to get into. So it's very frustrating when I can't play those games because I need my glasses. So, like, not much of a vacation to begin with. And, uh, you know, I went to bed at 1. I'm up at 4. I, I might take a little nap again. Um, I lay down yesterday, but it took me a while to fall asleep. When I did, it was like 40 minutes. I woke up and I was like, oh, whoa. must have slept three or four hours. No, not really. <laughs> so it becomes very frustrating. I have no energy, the migraines from not having my glasses. Um, so my IBS and of course the rain we've had a lot of rain which I know is good it's great for farmers market it just started last Saturday out here we starts the weekend of Mother's Day in St. Jay's first one it starts up um, next city over town whatever you want to call it next place over um, doesn't start until June so we are the first ones um, and out here in the summertime, it's every week. Um, and the winter farmer's market is once a month. Um, and these are crops that they can grow in the snow or the cold. Or they grow, you know, in their basement. They have things where they can grow in there, too. They do that sometimes, so. Yeah. So, I just wanted to do a quick vlog. Say hi to everybody. Um... You know, yeah, <laughs> tired, uh, a little tired. Um, so if you do watch this, thank you very much. Any concerns, comments, can always leave them down below. I did uh, post, um, 
Pineview Drive Homeless Part 3 yesterday. Um, sometime today I'll be putting Curse, another horror game, uh, Part 3 up for everybody. I've been trying to stick to that, like I said. I haven't really been posting every day because people aren't coming to watch my videos like they were. Um, since I can't, the live streaming that they will not allow me to do anymore has really been hurting my channel. Um, I used to do unboxings. I used to show what I was cooking, tell people how I do it. So there's some things that I just can't do anymore because I can't flip my phone like that. Um, and I think that it's ridiculous I have to do it this way. Um, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good morning, everybody.